Hello everyone and welcome back to Autobot Dawson Gaming. Today it's a real honor to be speaking with uh, a voice acting legend in video games as far as I'm concerned, uh, Heather Gonzalez, who is most recently uh, amongst many other roles, um, Minoru from The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, uh, a huge in character. And so before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know um, we're going to be keeping this like pretty much spoiler free like we're not going to talk about story beats itself or anything like that um, but obviously the nature of the game uh, some people want to be surprised by everything so if you don't even want to know anything about the character because obviously we have to talk about it a little bit um, you know you might want to check back after you've uh, progressed further through the story so just a little warning there uh, so how are you today heather i'm good how are you i'm doing i'm doing great loving playing zelda <laughs> Me too. It's such a good game. They did such a good job. Oh, truly. It's it's seriously seriously unbelievable. Um I mean, how must it how must it feel to you, you know, this game's already like the highest rated game on Open Critic of all time right now. Uh <laughs> how does it feel to you to know that you're like forever immortalized into what might end up being, you know, one of the greatest games of all time when we look back? Oh my goodness, I, I don't, I can't even think of it like that. For me, I'm, I'm like, I've always been such a huge Zelda fan. It's one of the first games I ever remember watching being played. My dad used to play, like, the original 8-bit Nintendo Zelda. Uh, and I remember sitting for hours and watching him play and just, even getting to be a part of this franchise is such a strange dream I never thought would happen. <laughs> that thinking on what it might mean later i can't my brain just can't even <laughs> i completely understand I, it must feel amazing i mean this franchise to me um it's almost like the the critical darling of of gaming like they just never miss everybody it's universally loved um and and i think like what nintendo has pulled off here um you know and and for you guys to be able to, to bring voice talent into zelda you know this is only now with this and breath of the wild the only two times we've actually had that um it's it's amazing to see it evolve because no matter how high they set the bar they just always find a way to 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 jump over it which is crazy to me uh, i never thought i would like a game more than ocarina of time and this game has done that for me so it's wow <laughs> yeah so it is pretty crazy um so i just wanted to ask you um you know can you tell us a little bit about sort of how you got into doing voice work in video games. I know you do anime and, and other things as well, but uh, wh what was it kind of the process behind like getting into games? Well, honestly, it just sort of fell into place. I mean, I'll do any audition that comes across my desk that seems fair and good. Um, but video games just sort of started coming up in, in auditions and the audition process for video games I feel is a little freer. You don't normally get too much information about the character or the place. So there's a lot of like imagination involved. There's a lot of, you know, theater of the mind and what if. And I come from a theater background. So getting to just sit for a minute and create a story is always really fun for me. And with dubbing and stuff, you don't get that as much because you've got to, you know, sort of make it fit where it has to go. But in video games, you get a little more freedom in that way. Um, so when those auditions started coming up, it was just, it was just so much fun. And then I think that fun translated in the audition itself. And I, I started booking them. That's absolutely awesome to hear that it's, uh, you know, a more freeing process. I, I was going to ask, like, uh, do you have a process for kind of getting into character for a game or, uh, you know, so, sort of getting in the, the right mindset once you know you've landed a role and now you're actually going to basically do the performance? Well, it's so interesting because like a lot of games, you have no idea what game you're doing even once you get booked. So you get auditions that have code names. So you don't know really what the property is until you get in the room and they start talking to you about it. Um, with Zelda, I was lucky enough to get the script like a day before. Um, and at that point when I got the script, I still had no idea what the game was. I just knew the code name. And I was like, okay, we're doing code name, whatever this is. And then I get the script and I start looking at the the wording and I'm like, wait, did that say Hyrule? Is this Zelda? Oh my gosh. Um, so like I had no idea. And when I auditioned for the character, it had a proper British accent. It was like it was a very different 
character that I had auditioned for, even though it was still for Minaru, um, they had done changes between the time I auditioned and the time we started. So even going in and having listened to my previous audition, when I went in and they started talking about it, I was like, oh, we've changed everything. Okay, this is new. Um, and a lot of times you walk into a studio and you still, you have no idea what the project is. You only know the code name and your character's code name and whatever description you got in the audition, which is usually very vague so that they can try and avoid spoilers. Um, right. So the, the process for getting into character is very strange and almost instantaneous because it's a lot of listening to the director talk about the world and the character and relationships and then you know you get a couple minutes in the beginning to kind of go back and forth and ask your questions and get a feel for it and then the first few lines are a lot of setting the voice setting the intention so it's a lot of the work that you would do to like figure out a character that might take you like 20 minutes on your own time or like you know if you're doing a play the whole rehearsal process um you kind of boil it down to the first 10 to 20 minutes of a session and you're like, okay, cool, cool. We're just gonna, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna try it. And we're gonna trust that our instincts and our, the actor muscle memory knows what the hell to do. And let's see what comes out of your face. <laughs> or at least that's how it feels for me. <laughs> Some people might be like, no, there's a hole. But every time I walk in, I feel very cold and like, okay, I, I don't know what to do, but we're gonna do something. And then, you know, over 20 years of acting kicks in. It's like, oh, right, this. I know what I'm doing. Cool. Let's go. Well, that's amazing. It definitely, you know, I guess you have to be very adaptable. And that, that comes through great in your performance. I think this this character is such a, like, climatic point um, of the game. and such an important, like, really moves things forward. And, uh, you know, I, I think the, the sense of urgency sort of around this, this point um, you know, was really brought through very strongly by you. So you definitely did a great job. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. And and what what? Uh, so how long did you have to keep this a secret? Uh, a little over a year. Okay, so they they do the, the the voices then sort of towards the end of the development cycle, I guess. Yeah, usually every almost everything is done before the voice actors come in. Right. Um, for the most part, especially on things like this where it was you know, originally done in Japanese and then we're getting it after the fact um, because then we have we have to be able to see certain scenes to be able to dub and get any sort of mouth flap correct. Right, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so, I, I know that you are a streamer as well and your streams are awesome. Um, oh, thank you. So, what, you know, I noticed that a lot of times you do stream games that, that you're in, which is probably because you're in so many games, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> like, uh, w what's it like to actually sort of have, like, chat interaction, like, knowing, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm actually watching a, a literal character from the game. Like, I watched one of your Monster Hunter streams, and I noticed you were uh, running around as you were wearing, like, the... Man the yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so cool. Yeah. So what's that like? Yeah, well, it's it's funny because I was never really a gamer. I'm not great at playing games, and if you've watched my stream, you'll see me fail over and over. <laughs> um, but a lot of people asked, you know, play Monster Hunter, play Monster Hunter, and my husband is a big gamer, and so we were like, okay, well, you know, let's let's do it. People want to see it, let's, let's do it. And then he actually bought me the whole Minocho skin and everything, and it was very fun running around. It's very entertaining, like, going up, dressed as Minoto to talk to Minoto and reading it all as Minoto. <laughs> right, that does sound fun. Um, though I'm not going to lie, anytime I'm failing and I hear myself in my ears going, that was great, I'm like, no it wasn't, that was horrible, shut up me, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. I mean, well, Monster Runner is far from a cakewalk anyway, so don't feel bad about like failing here and there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and I'm I'm such like a button smasher that I don't. Everyone's like, oh, you know, you have to use this move and do that, and I'm like, I don't know that move. Can I smash that button? That's what I'm gonna do. Oh man, uh, oh, I know. <laughs> I noticed you were playing dual blades a bit. If you ever need any tips on dual blades, that's that, that's what I mean. So. Uh, oh nice. <laughs> um, well, definitely come come hang out in the stream and backseat game me because that, <laughs> that is what our our chat community does and i'm thankful for it <laughs> oh man i i hate backseaters but that's that's good that you welcome it <laughs> oh 
Oh, yeah. Well, and again, because for me, like, I am such a baby streamer and such a non-gamer that, like, I don't know what I'm doing. So anyone who's like, hey, as long as they're not rude about it, as long as they're not like, hey, you're stupid, do this. Yeah, yeah. The community is like, hey, you know, if you did this, that would be better. I'm like, oh, really? How do I do that? Cool. I'm learning something. That That's a good point. A helpful tip is a lot different from just like, stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Though I'm not going to lie, like, we've been playing a lot of Honkai Star Rail now since I'm in that as well. And, um... This is the first time I've ever played a strategy game, so, again, I'm a button masher, I don't have strategies. Uh, so a lot of times, people are like, why did you do that? You know you could do this. Let me see your cards. That's not the right card. And I'm like, okay, I know you guys, you're all shaking your heads, you're very, very upset with me. <laughs> what do I do next? And they're like, one of my, one of my, uh chat community was like anytime i watch you i scream i cry i laugh it's an emotional roller coaster over here <laughs> oh that's amazing I'm like, well i'm glad i'm entertaining <laughs> yeah i mean ultimately that's the goal right so <laughs> <laughs> but um no like i i imagine you're having a great time streaming zelda then because it's it, there's no wrong way to play it this game is like completely freeing you can do anything i mean you can do anything you want and it still be fun. I mean, you can you can like golden line the story if you really want to, or you can not do the story for a hundred hours. Like who knows? So it's it's yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's been a lot of fun, and I I mean I'm horrible at playing anything on it. Like I'm horrible at playing anything to begin with. PC I'm getting better at. Controllers, console I'm I'm really bad at. So um, Bear, my husband, is actually the one controlling everything, and I'm just kind of watching and pointing and laughing. Uh, like yesterday when we tried to create a one of the little bird panels that fly. Uh, oh, yeah. It took us like 10 minutes just to try and get it off the cliff, and when it did, it just tumbled over and fell on top of us. <laughs> that happens so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, it's kind of it's kind of fun. Just... You guys, we're a running stream. All we do is run. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. That's fun. Um, okay, so also... Um, you know, this is kind of a... <laughs> to, sorry to go from something very lighthearted to, like, such a serious question. But, but uh, like, I, I like to ask this uh, to the to the various uh, voice actors I've been able to speak to. And uh, what do you kind of want your fans to remember you for? I mean, there's not... You don't have to answer this a specific way. Just, like, do you, you know, sort of what do you want, you know, what do you want your legacy to be? Like, w when people think of, of Heather Gonzalez. Um... I hope eventually I am remembered. Oh my god, I've never like thought of it that way. Wow. Um, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's deep. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot for ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, though, I just want to be remembered for for bringing characters to life that have touched people. Like I've gotten so many nice comments about. Minoru and uh, since it just dropped also Kokolia from Honkai just hearing about people's day and how, the, how they were feeling before they played versus after they played honestly I just love being a little bit of light in a world that sometimes isn't so light um, which is also why we stream and why we have our discord community um, and why I'm always so happy to chat with anyone who wants to chat with me as long as they're nice good humans um because i feel like there's a lot of there's a lot going on in the world right and like sometimes we feel very isolated and video games and things like that seem to bring people together and just to be a tiny part of any sort of light in someone's day i feel like that's a great legacy to leave very very well said i mean that's that's the uh that's the truth of games right it's like um you know when things are things are tough in real life and everybody's going through stuff i know that we all are um you know it's 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 just nice to be able to go to hyrule and spend the next 50 hours and not have to not have to to worry about things for a bit and uh it's amazing that um talents like yourself help to to create that world and make it all the more immersive so um, you know, from the fans, seriously, thank you for all the different projects you've been a part of, and you know, it's it's awesome. <laughs> you've definitely got supporters. 
Oh, that's that's really really sweet. I mean, I love I love doing this. I love chatting with people. Um, we have such a nice little community right now in our in our Discord and our Twitch stream and and even like on my Twitter. I'm just like I'm just so happy to even if it's an imaginary world, have something that gives us common ground, you know? Because there's so much that tears everyone apart. So it's nice that we can find these little bits of, of common ground together and, and meet people we may have never spoken to otherwise. Absolutely. It's all about bringing people together, I think. And so... Um, I, I want to thank you for your time, Heather. That's all I have for you. And I wanted to take this uh, final opportunity here to just um, give you the floor. If there was anything you wanted to say about Zelda or anything that you wanted to um, to actually sort of put out your, your Twitch or your Twitter or your Discord or whatever you want people uh, here at this community to know about, and I will make sure uh, that my people on my Discord and everything else go and check that out. Um, so if there's anything that, you know, you've, you've got the floor, whatever you want to, uh, to say here at the end or, or whatever you, whatever links you want to shout out, um, totally fine. Awesome. Well, first, just thank you guys for wanting to hear me speak and, and, you know, making my career worth having. And I'm so glad everyone is loving the game and keep playing and send me funny clips of random things you build. Cause I love to see it. Um, or fan art if you're doing it. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Hezzy underscore star VO, H-E-Z-Z-Y underscore S-T-A-R-R-V-O. Um, please come and watch our Twitch stream. We Twitch Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we're usually a variety stream, but you'll catch us playing Zelda, Honkai, Diablo 4 when it comes out. We're very excited about that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be uh, awesome. And that is... Uh, star and bear s-t-a-r-r and bear all one word uh and if you want to join our discord we are the bro Hiram. please don't ask me how to spell it uh but if you go to our twitch and follow us uh it's in the about section um really great community really lovely humans and yeah that's all i got i think amazing well again thank you everyone please comment down below thanking heather for her time it means a lot uh, for her to take the time uh, to come speak with us uh about about the the lands of hyrule so thank you again so much and until next time i'll, I'll be rolling out